how to achieve your goals in 2020. I'm going to give you three science-based facts. Now, I don't know about you. I really don't. But sometimes I'm good with my goals and sometimes I'm not good with my goals. So I've actually went and started searching out how, what are the best ways to keep my goals in front of me. Do you know that 54% of the people fail their New Year's resolutions? See, and this was one of mine, putting this video out, so i help you along your way. So I'm going to give you three science-based back facts for you to achieve your goals in 2020 and tell you what I'm doing also. The first one, very first one, is you need to write your goals down. See, and I wrote them down, but do you write them down look at them daily? See, what my wife and I decide, we have three main goals. And today we're going to talk about two of them. One is we are going to have $100,000 this year. That's our, that's our goal this year. I'm also going to retire in July 2020, July 31st. So that is written down. Now, here's what I do, though. See, because most people don't keep their goals in front of you. See, I write my goals down daily. Not just once, I write my goals down at least 10 times a day. See, and the first one is, I am going to retire July 31st, 2020. I am going to retire July 31st, 2020. I am going to, <laughs> do, you get the, do you get it? That's what I do. I am going to make $100,000 in my new core product this year. I am going to make $100,000 in my new core product this year. And I write it down. See, here's what happens. Because I'm writing it down, it's on my focus. I think about it a lot. I keep thinking about it daily, not more than a lot. Every time I write it down, I think about it. So every hour, I write it. As soon as I get up, I get my journal out, write my goals down. I do some reading. I got to head into work. Most of you know I'm a teacher yet. When I get to school, I write my goals down, right in front of me. After the first class, I write my goals down. After the second class, I write my goals, and it goes on throughout the day. One, because I want it put in front of me. Now, two, so I got my goals. You have your goals, and it doesn't have to be 100 of them. Make it your two most important, or your one most important goal, and write it down. The second one is you have to schedule a time and a place to do the activity part of that business. See, I'm making a core product. So when am I going to do it? I can keep saying I'm going to do it. But if I don't put it in my planner, it just never gets done. Now, I'm one of these people, I'm a weekend warrior. I do a lot on the weekend. But you know what? I'm usually tired. So Saturday morning, Sunday morning, if my wife's home, we'll get up. We'll just kind of hang out. I don't get anything done. Sunday morning, if I do the same thing, I, I don't get anything done. So I have to schedule a time period when and where I'm going to do this. That will help you so much. It's going to double your activity. Double your activity. The third tip, right? And I was, I didn't do this right away. But the third tip, do you know what it is? The third tip is having an accountability partner. And sometimes that's kind of scary, but here's what I did. I have a good friend that he has some goals too. So we scheduled a time every week. It's five o'clock Thursday night. We're going to email each other and update us on the progress of our goals. That's it. And then guess what? If John's not doing his, I'm going to say, hey, bud, how can I help you? And if I'm not doing mine, John's going to say, hey, Mark. Get your tail in gear. You know, that's just what happens. That's how goals get set. So the three things, one's write them down. Put them in front of you more than once, but write them down. I challenge you to write your goals down daily, 10 times a day. And then you let me know in the comments below how it's helped you achieve. Then what you need to do is schedule a time and place to do those activities that take you to your goal. That's all it is. <coughs> Schedule that time and place 
And the third one is have an accountability partner. It could be a friend, it could be your spouse, it could be your kids, it could be whoever. Just set up a real easy to do accountability to keep you in place, to keep them in place. That's it. Hey, I have a great thing for you. If you like this, could you hit the thumbs up, the like button down below, share it with your friends, so they get on track for 2020, you know, so they know how to achieve their goals in 2020 with the three science-backed strategies. That actually work? Share it with them. And subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bing bell button and get notified because I put up videos all the time. Help you out. Hey, check my links below. I got a great freebie, freebie, that'll help you grow your business. Where to find quality leads. Peace out. You take care.